Well, welcome to the introductory meeting of the Perfect Weight Project. Um, to me, this is the culmination of my life's work and perhaps the most exciting project that I've ever undertaken. It doesn't take a genius to figure out that I have weight issues, and I've had weight issues my whole life, and so it took a little bit of hutzpah on my part to finally stand up and say I'm going to do this. But I think there's a lot of value to having someone do the project with you instead of from the sidelines. And I'm going to be right there in the midst of the project with you. And uh, honestly, I created the program for myself because nothing else out there, in my opinion, works. And like most of you, I've done everything. is every time I go on a diet, I just feel deprived, my cravings get worse, I get upset, I get angrier, all of my emotions get worse instead of better, and I end up uh, losing a little weight, and then a few months later, it's all back plus a few pounds, and now I just feel more and more depleted and less and less like I'm able to ever do anything about it, and it's time for that to stop. A large part of the problem, well, I think there's two issues at hand. One is that we've really started to, we've really gotten to a place where we blame food. Just like, um, and I don't think food is the issue. I think that we blame food, but that is um, a distraction from the real issue. And blaming food is like, you know, if you had an arthritis, a person who had arthritis would panis all over their fingers, and you just sat there and kept beating the panis to make it go away, it's only going to get bigger and worse. You know, you're only going to be compounding the problem. And that's what we've been doing by focusing on food as the problem. Food isn't the problem. There's something going on that's unhealed within us that's the problem. A lot of that I really think is the deprivation of most diets. And this whole sort of atmosphere of you're bad if you eat, which creates all these traumas that go on inside of our body that, that recreate and recreate and recreate the problem. So I want to get all the deprivation, all the resistance, all of the worry out of the process of eating. And I want to get to a place where we start loving our food again. We've gotten to a place where everything we pick up, we feel guilty or worried every time we eat something. There's almost nothing you can eat anymore that's safe. I mean, it used to be that lettuce was safe. But nowadays, if you pick up lettuce, you have to worry about pesticides, you have to worry about the depleted soil, and then you have to worry about the fact that there's no nutrition in it, right? Those are all the things that feed you now. You can't eat meat because meat has hormones in it, and you don't process it for days. And you know, and you can't eat fruit because it has sugars, and you can't eat potatoes because of carbohydrates, and you can't eat celery because of carbohydrates, but you're supposed to eat celery, but you can't eat carrots. And there's so many mixed signals because nobody really knows. And the reality, in my perspective, is that it's not about food. I think that food has become the scapegoat, but it's not about food. I also don't think that it's about exercise, although I do think that movement is valuable. And we are going to have programs for how you eat your food, not what you eat. And we are going to have an exercise program included in this, which is a walking program. That's it. Most of us, if we join gyms, it's a waste of money. We're not getting out there and doing the aerobic thing. We're not putting on leotards. And we're not going in there every day and doing it. If we do it, we do it for two weeks. We lose part, and then we quit. So that's not what we're doing. But we are going to add movement in the form of walking in the program, which is something that we can all do that's good for all of us, helps boost the metabolism, makes you feel better about yourself, and helps to take weight off all at the same time. Um, and we'll talk about the, the, uh, the diet aspect of it, and we'll talk about the movement aspect of it in a minute. But I want to come back to the other thing that I think is going on. And the other thing that I think is going on is what's called the law of attraction. Have you guys heard of the law of attraction? Is that new to you? The law of attraction is a universal law that has been unknown um, in the world to a large degree until recently. It was made popular by a movie called The Secret. Before that, it was made popular by um, a speaker by the name of Abraham Hicks, uh, a speaking team by the name of Abraham Hicks. And before that, a woman named Jane Roberts had been talking about this thing called the law of attraction. There's four forces. There's the law of gravity, there's electromagnetism, there's the strong and weak nuclear force. And what we're talking about is not laws of gravity. We're talking about laws of electromagnetism. And laws of electromagnetism are just as fixed in the universe as the law of gravity. So if I take uh, a pen and I drop it on the floor, what's, what's happening? Gravity's pulling it there. Exactly. Does it matter if I'm a good person or a bad person? No. It's a universal law. Law of attraction is the exact same way. And we're going to learn about law of attraction in the actual program. 
we'll do workshops on it and a lot of in-depth explanation and understanding of law of attraction. But what the law of attraction says, in essence, is thoughts become things. And another way of saying it is that what we think about is what we draw to us. It's what we create. We're vibrational beings. E equals mc squared. Energy equals mass times the speed of light squared. That basically says that everything in the universe is composed of light. It's a compressed light that works in vibration, right? So this, this thing, this chair, if you were to look at it under a microscope, is light that's vibrating. And so are each of you. And things vibrate at certain rates and certain speeds, and they go out and they match up with things, and they bring them back to us as our experience. And that doesn't matter if you're a good person or a bad person. So what I think has happened is that we in, the, in this country have engaged the law of attraction for gaining weight. We all think we're thinking about losing weight, but we're not. We're all worried about gaining weight. Our predominant vibration, our predominant thought is, oh my God, I'm gaining weight every day, and I can't seem to stop it. And then people around you are commenting and you're worrying, and all of those emotions are enacting the law of attraction to make it infinitely worse. Another component of this, this program is the emotional healing aspect, where we're going to go after those emotions. We're going to go in and find out what the underlying causes are of this weight. And I think they are generally the same for all of us. And we are going to use a variety of alternative healthcare techniques to correct them. And the most uh, well known of the techniques is hypnosis. And, um, We'll be using that just to reprogram our minds to think more highly of ourselves and more highly of our, of our food. And we'll be doing hypnosis sessions in a group environment on a regular basis. Now, it's interesting, they did a piece on Dateline several years ago, I don't know when, but they had, they did an experiment where they had a lot of uh, different people do different diets and they tested to see which ones worked, which ones worked better. So they had someone do Atkins, they had someone do South Beach, they had someone do a um, just the diet and exercise program and the you know, regular you know don't eat anything and move a lot and they did a couple of other programs and um, one of them that they did was hypnosis and the thing that really struck stuck with me and that I think everyone there was so surprised about was that the hypnosis turned out to be the most successful that the person lost the most weight with the least amount of effort and kept it off the longest. Now, the thing about it was he was doing hypnosis every day, which is what most people do not do. You know, at $60 or $70, $100 a session, it's hard to go back over and over and over. So what we're going to do is we're going to do hypnosis on a regular basis. So over the next six months, you will be getting regular hypnosis sessions to uh, reprogram the way that your mind thinks about yourself and about food and so forth. And you will also get, as a part of this package that you're going to get when you sign up, a CD that I've made that you can listen to on the nights when you're not here. So you can take it home. It's going to be a short hypnosis session because I know that most of them that you buy on the market are an hour long. And who wants to do an hour long hypnosis on a regular set, on a regular basis? It's just too much time. So I'm going to make just a 15 or 20 minute hypnosis session and there's going to be a few minutes of affirmations on there. So you'll be able to listen to your affirmations and do your hypnosis session in under a half an hour and do that right before you go to bed at night. Or, you know, if you just sit down for a little meditation, you can throw it on and do it at that point. So, hypnosis is one of the options. 